In this video, we are going to create a top-down character movement with the idle and walking animation transitions. But before we jump into the tutorials, if you want to learn how to create a game from scratch to a complete game, check out my online Unity courses. I've published a couple of courses covering best practices in game development with topics ranging from programming to visual tuning, desktop to a mobile platform, object-oriented programming, and many other useful tips. With the price of a takeaway, you'll get lifetime access to the course. Link in the description below. Let's start by putting a character. And here I'm going to put this character. Now let's create the animations for this character. Let's just rename this game object. And with this selected and animations window opened, let's create an animation. And this is going to be down idle down for the direction and for the down idle let's break the idle animation set the samples to 10 now we have a working animation and now you, all you need to do is create all of the animations for the idle walking I already create all of them so now let's continue setting up the animator with the player selected go to the animator window and now let's just delete this default state create a blend tree inside this blend tree we want to create another two new blend tree rename the first blend tree to idle and the second blend tree to walk and we need to create a another two parameter for the x value and the y value and this is going to be the speed now let's set up the idle first set this to 2d simple directional and for the parameter set this to x and y do the same with the walk and let's add motion to the idle we need eight motion and for the first motion put the idle down animations and since this is going down we need to set the direction to zero on the x and negative one on the y and now you can see that we have set up the idle down position or value here. Do the rest for the other directions and set the position x and y accordingly. And once we finish, this is this is how it's going to look. And do the same with the walk animation. And here in the main blend tree, set the parameter to speed and disable the automate threshold and set the idle to 0.1, walk 3 to 1. Now we are done with the animations. Let's start the script. So for the script here, we need to set up this variable for the speed and for the component rigid body animator sprite render and create two private vector two for the move directions and less move direction. And on start, we want to get all of the component rigid body for moving, animator for setting the animation and sprite render for flipping the sprite inside the update get the input using get access row and this will create a snappy movement it will set the value from 0 to 1 and do the same on the y direction and this is basically the horizontal string and the vertical string and normalize the vector direction and now set the animator using set float to the speed parameter using the velocity square magnitude and we are going to implement the velocity in a moment and here we want to set the last move direction vector to move direction whenever we are moving. So whenever the move direction square magnitude is greater than zero. And this means that if the vector length is greater than zero, we want to update the last move direction. And now we need to set both the float x and y to the last move direction x and the last move direction y. And we want to flip the x of the sprite renderer whenever the last move direction x is below zero we want to flip it to the left and we need the last move direction because we want to set the direction player only when it's moving and we want to keep the last direction whenever the player stops so we only update the last move direction whenever the player is moving here and here below we want to create a fixed update and then we want to apply the move direction value multiplied by speed to the rb dot velocity save the script and now let's set up the player here at a rigid body 2d capsule collider and disable the gravity scale and then freeze the rotation and now let's add the script now we can move around in the add direction and when we stop it will play the idle animations it will play the idle and the working animations transitions 
seamlessly. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you like it, please subscribe and hit that like button.